Hey guys, welcome back to another ECW review show here on uh, Folk Wrestling. It is ECW 2006. 26th of September. 26th of September. And uh, yeah, world title match tonight. Not quite sure how it was set up. Apparently Sandman saved Jim Ross from uh, the big show. I'm assuming this happened on Raw because it didn't happen in ECW. They didn't even see any highlights. I mean, could they not have... I don't know, could they not have shown you a highlight or something? You think after the opening segment especially they could have shown something? But anyway, the opening segment is uh, Jim Ross and he's he, he's in the ring and he, he says it was great to be invited by Joey Styles and Taz and then for some reason you can hear Joey Styles and Taz is, they've got like a loud live mic while GR's in the ring cut a promo and then they both say, ask, did you invite him? And they're both like, no. So maybe that's to rip the piss out of GR a wee bit. But it was kind of funny. So No, yeah. it was it was obviously it was a setup. He was in fight, they get battered. And that's no, it where, wasn't. And no, that's why they were like, did you fight him? No. They, they, were, they were panicking, that's what it was for. It was like, oh shit, we didn't fight him, who did? That's what That's what, That's what. what I got from it. No, I just got it was a fucking, they were ribbing him. Nah, I don't think it was. Like, I think it was more of a setup. Alright, so what, Paul Heyman fight him just to batter GR for some reason? I'm sure he just, he fucking, he, he, said got, it he got Big Show battered by Sandman, so it kind of makes sense. Making it makes more sense than there was two ribbon I'm like yeah, Alright, well fair enough. Like that's not what I got from it, like I just got from it that <laughs> opportunity to bury GR then take it, but uh Aye, but he didn't get buried. Well no we kinda did did because he's turned when he says he got infected by those two, then those two are on the mic going, Well we didn't even fight. Well, that's not what I got from it. Well, I think you're anyway, wrong. Right, we're right, we've dragged the arse of who right, so, uh, Anyway, fucking Jim Ross says it's great to be here. Talks about old school territories that no need to... Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, I'll, yeah, great guy, GR, but I don't really care about the... don't really care about the territories, you know? Um, Matt Stryker comes out, makes funny fucking Jim Ross. Basically says he's a dumb bastard like all the people in the crowd tonight. To drink beer. Sandman yeah. comes out. Uh, we know music for some reason. Not exactly sure why. Sneak attack. Um, yeah, sneak attack, but then he doesn't attack him and he just waits. It's almost like he waits for GR's approval. Like, oh. Matt Stryker's kind of get, kinda trying to get GR to tell the Sandman not to. And as if the Sandman would listen to anyone. You think if I GR turned around and says, nah, Sandman, don't help me with the cane. And by the way, see that 12 pack you've got in the back, don't bother drinking. You think Sandman would just flush it all down the toilet? Knows, mate, don't be injecting him into your favourite fan. You know, you know what I mean? Like, Sandman, <laughs> Sandman does what he wants, then he gives GR the cane and GR canes uh, some striker. Pretty cool. I mean, a good, decent opening segment. It is what it is. Up next, uh, match, RVD, Hardcore Holly. I guess these guys have been in a bit of a feud ever since Hardcore Holly. Uh, debut at talk about punishing Rob Van on ECW a few weeks ago, and I, I, I guess it's no surprise that in the last few weeks I found RVD a bit boring, yep. and it's probably because he's been involved with this guy, and the fact that he was in a, a match with Booker T that had absolutely no, the f- you know, the first half of this match dead match. Would... It's extreme rules, right? And I get it. Like if you're doing a long match, the start it can start off slow, but the fact that you're on ECW and you're only going what fifteen minutes max. You can't really afford the first 10 minutes to be slow-paced and boring. And headlocks. That's what it was. Hard go holly, sick bump, super to the table to the sides, scars open his back, slashes it open. 25 stitches are quiet. I mean, it looks pretty cool, all the blood, but it's still a boring match. Like, I mean, there was some decent spots, like, but it wasn't. The damage was done. He literally could have ripped, he could have literally been cut in half and it would have made the match still pretty pish. Yeah, I mean, it was a cool fish and all that, but... Just not a fan of Hardcore Holly. Just don't really like the guy, you know. Nothing personal. Well, I know he's a bit well, of a prick, like, but I just think he's boring. The match may have been pish, but I remember it from like f- fifteen years ago. So, well, that's all that, that you're always going to remember that table spot and him getting the big, um, you know, scar. But uh, oh, you're ready. But the big tear on his back. But I mean, apart from that, wasn't he great? Up next, we have a. Uh, well, Fan Dan wins. I Fan Dan wins. Next up, we have. Are you a poser? CM Punk. Um, Backstage, Kelly Kelly wants him to teach her strip poker. And then Mike Knox comes and he's kind of trying to stand up to Punk, trying to intimidate Punk. Just Punk didn't work. Say, um, say something about the, the fence that you're building around her isn't big enough. And then Mike Knox completely shits it and backs away with Punk and says but, it. Uh, but that's what I don't get. Punk's straight edge. Can't get involved in poker. Well, maybe that's what he was going to say. Like, we don't know. No, we didn't, uh, we didn't Mike, get... Mike Knox just 
Well, maybe if it's strip poker and it's not poker ah. for money, then it maybe be. Maybe that's fine. Because it's not a form of gambling. Well, technically, yeah, it's like, I don't know, fuck it. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was Mike Knox bought all this. It was a good segment, I liked it. Yeah, but Mike Knox. He, he did come off looking very bad, like. I know, yeah, he just like. Well, well, he did redeem it a wee bit, like, but. Like towards the end, he was looking. I'm gonna straighten her out. Even his facial expressions, like he, he, he looked as if he was genuinely shitting it for punk, which I guess is kind of cool. But I mean, the fact that these two are in that five on five match makes me think this is gonna be a feud for like the next two months. But like, I don't know, man. To me, that's the kind of way fucking Shannon Moore should be getting on. Not yeah. Mike Knox, a guy that's about five inches tall. You know what I mean? Like, if this is the way a poser should be getting on if someone stands up to him. Yeah, you're a poser, Knox. Anyway, decent up next with cat fight between Ariel and Francine. Better than RVD hardcore. Yeah, probably, aye, it was only lasted about fucking thirty seconds. Um, didn't really get it. Ariel like took the mic and cut a promo, and it was You're just like, fat. yeah, it was just like a pro. It's like a promo you'd expect. Like, I know she mentioned her tarot cards, like it was kind of stink with the gimmick, like. But to me, a vampire wouldn't really be. I know cutting. I think when she does the when does the shit backstage, it's more like mysterious, and you have got the vibe. But the way she cut this promo, it was just like a, a normal diva cutting a promo, slab, uh, slagging Slam the other, other one. one. Do you know what I mean? Them. So to me, this didn't really work. I mean, I cut the promo, but the match, nothing really happened. Kevin Foreign came in, Balls Mori came out, and hit him with fucking a massive chair shot. So your hood, I, I don't know if he blocked it or whatever, but I must have hurt either way. Yeah, broken wrist or broken cup. <laughs> yeah, uh, concussion or fucking. Staves the rest. Uh, 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 hospital for Kevin Foran. Maybe he'll drink some blood at the, the nurse as well as here. Uh, then we had Rene Dupree backstage. Coming at the show. I don't I don't think he mentioned that he's the most extreme guy. He, he did goes, he? Did he? Yeah. Um, I'm that pissed off. I, I'm not even acknowledging the guy. What awful, man. Get this guy to fuck. It's almost... So I think it's a rib. It's like McMahon going, oh, to get this guy showing off his muscles. And saying it's extreme and that, that body building. I mean that, that that's exactly what uh, I mean, could you imagine if fucking they added this guy to the Batista Big Show match? I mean that would have God damn. Mm. Aye, but anyway. I mean it is what it is. Moving on to the main event, Big Show oh, but no wait, Big Show's backstage, Heyman's bricking it. He thinks that Sandman can win the night and Big Show says it uh, doesn't matter if Sandman uses his cane, he'll turn him into a popsicle. Not just pesh. Yeah, I mean, a Big Show was making it. Like. Big Show's trying to make it as if it's the greatest joke ever, but it really wasn't that good. And uh, yeah, so then they go out, have the match. Uh, the match was pretty shit. It's, <laughs> they go to a break, and when the match comes back, it's just Sandman smashing the Big Show with a cane. Um, Matt Striker gets involved, cost Sandman. A couple of boring movers later. I mean, yeah, all, all this was this is Sandman hitting Big Show with the cane and then Big Show doing a couple of fucking chokeholds. Sandman, Striker coming out stealing Sandman's cane and then Big Show doing his chokehold and winning. Retains the title yeah. and that's it. Uh, pretty poor ECW. Very poor ECW. I thought the segments were alright, but the matches were shite. Damn and right. um, I'm going to give it a... <sighs> I'll get a two. Um, I'll give it. I'm gonna give it a three because I'm a retard. No, I'm not because I'm a retard. Because like I, I mean, I'll, I'll give it three for the visual effects in the first match with Harko Holly slicing his back open. But I've got to say, see if that I think that would be one of the most boring extreme rules matches I've seen. If he doesn't slice open his back, which was definitely not intended. The, so. the fact he sliced open his back kind of, you know, it kind of adds something to it. So, you know, that's what it is. Anyway, anyway. guys, average is at two point five. We'll be back for the third of October next time. But until then, I'm not going to drag us up to the ten minute mark. Peace.